why are video conferencing strategies changing? We're currently in a period of unprecedented technology change in the video space. On the back end, the growth of video as a service offerings make it easier than ever to get up and running with video. On the front end, pervasive camera-enabled smartphone, laptop, tablets, um, and other hardware are making it easier than ever to access video clients and applications. It's easier also than ever to access real-time video collaboration in browsers through WebRTC. The effect of this technology change, this unprecedented pace of technology change, is that the barriers to adoption are going down. Companies don't need the specialized expertise that, need, that they needed in the past uh, from managed services to run a video environment. They don't need a sizable investment in infrastructure to get started anymore, and they therefore don't need to buy the capacity in large chunks that they needed to in the past because of the elasticity of the cloud allows companies to provision up or down according to their demand. When barriers to adoption comes down, adoption goes up. Our data shows that twice the number of companies have deployed video conferencing or had deployed video conferencing in 2013 compared to 2010. And uh, that's for desktop video. And similarly, uh, twice the number of companies had upgraded or deployed high definition in-room video conferencing compared to investment levels in 2010. And when adoption by more companies, more customers, more employees um, uh, inside those companies by customers and by partners goes up, so does the business value of that technology. 